without falling. Listen only on BBC Sounds. This is BBC Radio 4. Now it's time for any questions. Here's Alex Forsyth. Hello and welcome to St Mary's Church in Nantwich. A glorious building dating back to the 14th century, sometimes called the Cathedral of South Cheshire. It sits right in the centre of this charming medieval market town where at this time of year there is a decidedly festive feel with fairy lights strung on the trees and timbered buildings and the glitter of ice on the pavements. But before you break into your favourite carol, there is a conversation to be had, discussion and debate with today's panel. We have Shami Chakrabarti, a Labour peer and a human rights lawyer who served as director of the human rights group Liberty until 2016. Shami served as the shadow attorney general for almost four years in Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party. She used to be the chancellor of the University of Essex and Oxford Brookes University and she was appointed a CBE in 2007. David Frost is a Conservative peer who is Chief Brexit Negotiator and Europe Advisor to former Prime Minister Boris Johnson. He's a senior fellow at the Think Tank Policy Exchange, a member of the Advisory Council of the Free Speech Union and economist for the Daily Telegraph. David spent most of his earlier working life as a professional diplomat. Let's see how diplomatic he's feeling tonight. Leila Moran is the Liberal Democrat MP for Oxford Western Abingdon and the party spokesperson for foreign affairs and international development. She stood to be Lib Dem leader two years ago but lost out to Ed Davey. Before becoming an MP, Leila worked as a maths and physics teacher and she's lived in Belgium, Greece, Ethiopia and Jordan. And Sir John Simpson is the owner and chairman of Timpson Group, that handy high street chain. It was founded by John's great-grandfather in the 1860s and now has an annual turnover of around £350 million. John and his late wife were foster carers for 31 years, during which time they fostered 90 children. And in 2017, John was awarded a knighthood for services to business and fostering. St Mary's Church, please welcome your Any Questions panel.